Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at a measurement worksheet. There's some information up top. Let's look at that information and see if we can learn anything useful that'll help make our lives easier so we can answer these questions on the worksheet. Let's get started by looking at the information. First, I see one cup represented by this picture right here. I also see that two cups equals one pint and that four cups equals one quart. Now, is there any other information that we can learn from using it this picture? Well, let's take a look. If two cups equals one pint, we know that given from the information. Two cups must equal another pint. So therefore, four cups equals two pints. In my picture on my worksheet, I also see four cups is equal to one quart. So if that's true, we know that four cups is equal to two pints, which we just learned. And that's also equal to one quart. So four cups is equal to one quart. But two pints is also the same thing as one quart. Let's see if we can use this information to help us answer some of the other questions. Let's look at our first question. It wants to know how many pints are in a quart. In the first answer choice, I see two pints. And in the second answer choice, I see three pints. Well, according to the information given to us and what I figured out, two pints is equal to one quart because in each quart, there are four cups and two cups equals one pint. So if we have four cups, that means we'll have one pint plus one pint and we know that that equals two. So there are two pints inside of one quart. Let's take a look at our next question. They want to know which picture best represents two pints. Okay, well I know that in one pint there are two cups. And that in two pints there are four cups. So if I look at my first picture and I circle four cups, I see that there are one, two, three, three, four leftover cups. So it cannot be the picture with the cups. But I know from what I've learned that two pints equals one quart. Again, because two pints is represented by four cups. Because two, two cups represents one pint and the other two cups represent another pint and one plus one equals two. So again, two pints or four cups is equivalent to one quart. Four cups, two pints, one quart, all the same. Let's take a look at our next example. One pint. Ah, well this one's represented right here in the picture. We can see that one pint is equivalent to two cups. So we can just go ahead and circle two cups right there. Our next question is a little bit tricky. It wants to know about two quarts. Let's remember what we know about one quart. We know that one quart is equal to two pints or four cups. Let's keep that in mind as we look at our answer choices. So the first answer choice has two pints. And now that two pints equals one quart. So, okay, that takes care of one half of the two quarts. But I also have two cups. And I know that two cups only represents one pint. So really in this answer choice, I have one quart and one pint. This is not correct. In my second answer choice, I already have one quart. So again, I know that one half of the two quarts is taken care of. But then I have two pints left over. And I know that from what I've learned from my information, that two pints equals one quart. 
So now I have two pints, which is really one quart, plus one quart, and you have one quart plus one quart, and that gives you two quarts. So this must be the correct answer choice. Our next example is also looking for two quarts. Our first answer choice has six cups. And we know that four cups equals one quart. But again, the two leftover cups only represents one pint. So again, we are left with one quart and one pint. So this first answer choice is not correct. But our second answer choice has three pints. So let's use two of the pints to represent one quart. And then the leftover pint can be combined with my two cups. And we know that two cups equals one pint. So really I have another two pints. And we know that four pints can be represented by two quarts. Because two pints equals one quart. So if we just double that information, we'll have our correct answer. And for our last example, it will again wants to know which picture Bex represents one quart. Well, I know one quart can be represented by two pints or by four cups. So if we look at our first answer choice, we have one pint and two cups. But I know that two cups is equivalent to one pint. So really, I have two pints, which is the same thing as one quart. So I think that this is the correct answer choice. But just to make sure, I'm going to check my last answer choice. There are six cups. I know that four cups would equal one quart, and two cups left over would give me one pint, giving me too much liquid. Boys and girls, remember, use the information given to you in the problem to help you figure out new information that will help you make these questions easier to solve. Thanks for watching. See you next time, boys and girls. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.